What's up everybody? So today we're going to be comparing different AI models. In our previous video, we built an entire custom sales agent chatbot step-by-step -step called Bloombot. We did the entire tutorial, everything you need to do to build your own chatbot. And then in this video right here, we did a video breaking down how to customize the custom instruction prompt for your chatbot. That way your chatbot behaves exactly how you want it to for your business. Today, I want to test how the instruction prompt that we wrote performs with different AI models. We're going to be going into Chatbase's new compare mode and we're going to test these AI models side by side. We're going to be testing OpenAI's ChatGPT 4.0, we're going to be testing Anthropic's Cloud 3.5 Sonnet and Google's Gemini 1.5 Pro. My default model of choice is typically ChatGPT 4.0, but I'm going to keep an open mind here. I can definitely be persuaded by Claude's eloquent prose from time to time. So we're going to put them head to head and we'll find out. Each model responds to the instruction prompt that we've written differently. So we're going to see which one responds to it best. Before we get started, make sure you have your own custom chatbot. That way you can follow along in this tutorial video. All you have to do is go to chatbase.co and you can create an account for free and create your first chatbot for free. Then you can follow along with me. All right, let's get started. Okay, so we are logged in to Chatbase. As you can see, I've got three different chatbots here. We're going to be using Bloombot, but if you don't see one, you need to still make a chatbot. So just click new chatbot and you can create it in a few seconds, okay? So first click on your chatbot, Bloombot. Now, this is the AI playground. And as you can see, this is our fully built chatbot. We can interact with it here, as you can see. And if you click this little button right here, you can see all of the instructions we've given it, as well as which model we're using and the temperature and all that. So right now we're on ChatGPT 4.0. But today we're going to test which option is actually the best option and we've got a lot to work with here. We're just going to be focusing on the best model from each company. So we're going to use GPT 4.0, we're going to use 3.5 Sonnet and 1.5 Pro from Google. So we're going to close this out because we're not testing the instruction prompt right now. And what we're actually going to do is go to the compare mode, which is this little button right here, as you can see. So we're going to click on that. And now you can see multiple chatbots here. We have two, we're gonna add a third one so we can test them all at once. So we're gonna click add a chatbot. So right now they're all set to GPT 4.0, but what we're gonna do is change two of them. So we're gonna change this one to 3.5 Sonnet, and we'll change this one to 1.5 Pro. These are all incredible models, but let's figure out which one is actually the best. So they all have the same temperature settings. They all have the same instruction prompt. This is the one that we wrote in the last video that we published about instruction prompts. As you can see, it's all the same. The only difference is the model. In the video where we built the instruction prompt, we instructed it to be charismatic. We instructed it to be enthusiastic about sales and to just be really a master in sales psychology. So hopefully we'll see some of those elements come through in the conversations that we have with these chatbots right now. The training data is fairly limited, so we may run into some issues there, but hopefully not. There should be plenty of data. We'll be able to get a pretty good idea of how this is working. Okay, so let's ask it some questions. So first let's start with the preset questions and see how it responds to those. So we asked it, how do I get started? And right off the bat, we saw that GPT-4.0 was faster and Claude wrote a lot and Gemini didn't quite do what we asked us to do. A little disappointed there. We got a great response from GPT-4.0, a nice little link to the application page. Claude did a decent response, but it's way too long. And the link is this full link here, which is not as, not as pretty. Gemini did not really get it at all. They just responded with a little statement. That's not very useful for the user. All right, now what we can do, just so you can see it, is there's a button here for clear all chats. So we can do that and it can start with a clean slate again. Let's ask it which plan is best for me, just so that it's simple here. So we got a couple different responses here. I think Gemini is a little bit better on track with this one. They're asking questions to the user, which is going to help the AI figure out how to make better recommendations to better serve the user, which is good. Claude did the same thing, but it's longer, a lot more details, which is good and bad depending on preference. Personally, I don't want any of the messages that the AI writes to be longer than the chat bot window. So I don't want them to have to scroll through the chat bot to read the response. They should be able to quickly glance and figure out what the message is about. They don't have time to read everything. And so you want to keep it very concise. And we tried to instruct that in the instruction prompt. 
And as you can see, Claude still is just a little wordy. So if we were gonna use Claude, we would want to be a little bit more strict in our introduction prompt on the length of his responses, right? In general, this is still a good message, but for my preference, it's a little long. So they all asked for more information from the user that's chatting with it. So what we're gonna do is going, we're going to continue the conversation. I'm going to paste in a question here. So they all have the exact same message, right? I run a dog treat brand called Farm Treats, and I'm thinking about running UGC ads on TikTok. This is a, for a creative agency, right? And so we're going to send that message and we'll see what happens. GPTO, GPT-40 is fastest. All right, and so based on that information, each of the AI models made some different decisions here. GPT-40 made a recommendation for a specific package and then directed them to the application. Claude picked the same package, same plan, but then outlined some benefits for the user specifically, and then instructed next steps, but it didn't include the application link. And then Gemini, instead of giving a recommendation, insisted on figuring out what the average monthly ad spend for the company was. This is kind of problematic because the user says, I'm thinking about running UGC ads, which means they're not running UGC ads. So they're not currently spending any ad spend, right? So that's not really helpful for the user. And it's also over leaning into the kind of corniness, right? It says that's possum and this will help me wag my tail towards a plan that's just the right fit. Like that's not exactly what I would want from a chatbot. Maybe you do. Maybe if you're selling dog treats, it would be a good way for the chatbot to communicate. But for this professional creative agency, that's not exactly what we want, right? Overall, I think that GPT's answer is probably the best because it sticks to my rule of not making the user scroll too much and keeps it simple. But, you know, Claude is also providing a lot of value here for the user to think about. So it depends. It also really depends on the user, not just your preference, right? And so you could test both and figure out which one really performs best for your business by looking at our new enhanced analytics inside of Chatbase, which just came out too. But at first glance, I think GPT-40 does a great job here. So now let's ask it another question. Let's ask it, what's the general delivery timeline and what kind of results can I expect? So Gemini kind of did more of the same, not super helpful. Claude was over communicative, gave a lot of details and GPT-40 was pretty concise and provided the same link again. It's really trying to drive people into the sales funnel, which is good. This is what we really, it's what we want, right? We want to get applications through the form because this is a sales agent. So that's pretty good. If you look at Claude's response here, it does lay out the actual delivery timeline and bullet points, which is nice. And then it sets expectations, which is pretty cool. So Claude is consistently being more valuable to the user, more custom tailored without going overboard into the corniness that Gemini is currently giving us, right? So that's pretty good. Let's try a few random questions too, just to see how these chatbots respond. So let's say, what kind of cake should I bake? Okay, so we got, I appreciate your interest in baking, but let's focus on how I can help you with your creatives today. I apologize, but as a sales agent for Flourish Social Studio, I'm not equipped to provide baking advice. And I appreciate your interest in baking. However, I'm here to help you with your ad creatives. So I like Gemini's and GPT's answers better. I don't really like that Claude is calling itself a sales agent. That's probably not ideal. Um, people don't really wanna know they're talking to a sales agent. They wanna think it's customer support, right? People, nobody likes to be sold to. So maybe these answers are better. They're also shorter, of course. I am surprised by how much faster GPT-40 seems to be every single time. I mean, it's just consistent, which is really nice. So let's close it out with one more question here that I think is a pretty important one. We'll say, how can I speak to a human? Okay, so Claude gave all the details. ChatGPT-40 hit us with the email link two, which is great, and just the email link, which is only, the only thing we asked for. And Gemini did not do any of that. Even though we gave it the information it needed to be able to respond accurately, Gemini did not perform well. So that's kind of disappointing. But the other two did pretty great. This is still my favorite answer. Okay, there you have it, guys. Hopefully that gave you some inspiration for testing your own instruction prompts. As far as picking a winner, I think ChatGPT40 outperformed the others, but 
Claude still has a lot of potential. I think if you wanted to stick to Claude, then you could definitely dial in the prompt just a little bit more so that it performs exactly how you want it to. Alternatively, maybe just dialing down the creativity just a little bit for Claude would improve the performance of the chatbot and get the responses that we're after. Gemini seemed to ignore our instruction prompt the most. It really stuck with the themes the user was prompting it with, but it wasn't exactly providing the right amount of value that we're looking for for the user. So in general, Gemini was a little disappointing. I wish it performed better. It was also not as fast as GPT-40. So in general, Gemini is, does not get my pick. What did you think? Did you think I gave them all a fair shot? Do you think that I should have asked different questions to better test this? Maybe we'll do another video improving them again in the future. Anything else you guys want to see about Chatbase, please let us know in the comments. We're always looking for video ideas. We're trying to figure out how to better share Chatbase with you guys. So leave a comment, let us know. And if this video provided any value for you, please drop a like so that the algorithm shows these videos to more people. We want more people to discover Chatbase. And if you wanna learn more about Chatbase, then watch this video where I break down the new enhanced analytics feature that we just rolled out. It's amazing and really powerful for your custom chatbots. All right, guys, I hope you have an awesome day. I will see you in the next one. This one right here, click that one.